to fight. So light against heavy, a matchup you rarely see nowadays. Round and in. Three, this one especially is two, is uh, one. Don't fight me, man. Is interesting because <laughs> it's a clutch. NSC gets the heavy spawn, picks it up, snitches the rail and the lightning gun, and he basically has, apart from the shotgun, which he just grabs now, all the tools you need Whoa. to find off a clutch. And yeah. Clip already is trying to play with NSC's mind. But NSC, being cautious as he is, not giving him the possibility, and there we go. Beautiful rail shot from uh, the Dane. Goodness. And he makes his way over to the rocket launcher and settles down at the heavy again. Clip, though, still not at his item. Yeah, Clip uh, hasn't dealt any damage. There is one, and his ability activation seals the deal on his uh, first track. But yeah, now he doesn't have uh, his ability up. And unless he has the LG in his uh, toolbox. So he needs to vacate the area and then have it go somewhere. Oh, Clip just... takes the mega health, but oh, he pays for it with his life. This time the lightning gun work. I was gonna say, despite uh, the shield, NSC didn't hit really well, which is rarely uh, rarely seen if you watch him. But on the second occasion, there was no shield, and he was hitting much more lightning gun. And yeah, Clip needed to vacate the area, but now he bullies his way onto the item with the shield. Ability Stop traded watch. for the heavy. I, I think that's a good deal because you can get uh, the cooldown done with the vials as he just did. Oh, and Clip. Beautiful position there. Traps NSC and lands two rails onto his opponent. NSC still needs the rocket launcher. Oh, what a flick. Nice. And now he can push in. There's no shield. The shotgun can't kill him in one blow. And we go. NSC picks up the lead as well as the heavy. Can Clutch make it over to the item? He will, and he does, but Ennis's lightning gun is crazy as fuck as he pushes him back into the wall. The shield saves him for now, but Ennis smells blood, and Ennis is on the hunt. Shotgun in his hands. El Diablo can't finish it off as he whiffs the last shot. It up, baby. Oh, oh, the rail clutch. What? Three in a row. This is impossible. Yeah, well, the impossible made possible by Clue. And oh, yeah, Ennessy is just not hitting his shots uh, the last minute. And Kloop is uh, tying this one up. Gets the mega health. And wow. Gets so much LG into his body, but he still clutches it out with the rail. Is left water weak. So he has no entry to the heavy, but he has his. Uh, shield up and wow energy just is not appearing at the heavy Clip is back in this yeah he has his shields oh but the rockets not a good choice against a hitting lightning gun and uh, he falls and the seat ties it up again yeah i think clip needed a hit scan weapon himself on this kind of range but energy i mean it's a clutch 56 lg is is still big and because the the fights were rather messy NEC now sets up for this item lands another rail on his opponent has his ability to to use as well and clip the fridge needs to scrap back and, and collect some weapons and as well as finding an angle for him to return unreturned damage because right now the light champion is out stacking the heavy <laughs> so it's happy against oh, heavy oh. The Oh, oh wow. a continuous string of lightning gun. You can't shield against that. No, but it's friend. also if you get hit by lightning with a clutch. Yeah, your movement just stops by the knockback. It's, it's so difficult to get out. It just got frozen in place and melted. Oh, but the damage. He was... Laying a perfect trap. And he was not prepared for a clip hanging out there. Oh, but he gets the angle. 
And that was so crazy. That was such an overstate, uh, over, uh, Star. Yeah, he, Cliff was out of position, and this was the wrong weapon choice for NSC, but NSC still kind of defeated the clutch here and defends the push, but drive-by shotgun is enough, and NSC shuts two rails between the legs of the clip, and Clip somehow with a starting shotgun manages to tie the game up again. Oh, 64 uh, on to uh, Annecy though. So he, yeah, does he appear? Yeah. Oh, he thought it was a clean pickup, but Cliff <laughs> is there around the corner in fifth gear. Speeding onto the mega half and gets it, steals it right under Annecy's nose. Yeah, and she gets the heavy. Well, Clip is waiting on the mega half to spawn. Yeah, and again. Oh, and the C is just... He, he's appearing at the item without really thinking of where Clip is vacating at. And he just walks into so much damage. He can die, deny the heavy again. Probably. Yeah, Clip wanted to pick up his ability before making it down that resulted in him not being able to contest the item at all NSC has no clue where the fridge is and gets greeted by a rail in the back clip though this time has the wrong weapon in the hand as NSC lights him up with the lightning gun but the rockets from clip answer back and NSC with a close range rail on 8 hp ties up the game mega waiting for him but NSC is missing so many rails and you can't afford that against the clutch Oh, huge bait from Cliff. Faking to going through the teleporter. NSC losing his patience and dropping into Clib's welcoming arms. And another rail of the spawn. Clib. Yes, making the robot work. Yeah, and it, it, it comes down to uh, NSC not hitting his uh, shots, right? I think, yeah, maybe start to use shotgun instead of rail. <laughs> Because yeah, from, a, from that perfection. distance, it's, it's a guaranteed hit. I think it's better than just doing no damage at all. Yeah, NSC is just now walking into unfavorable positions and uh, meeting Clip, who, who has everything. All the tools, the stack, and his ability. Yeah, and now for the first time, we see Clip building a solid lead, and NSC gets to see why light against heavy is a very tough deal, especially someone with damage reduction, which makes the stack difference even bigger, basically. I mean, you can hit loads of damage on a clutch because he's such a huge hitbox, and NSC is still hitting above 50% lightning gun and railgun, but it, it's, it's not enough. Now oh. Club is just hiding on the staircase. Imagine a big fat bear trying to hide behind a teddy bear. Shield use to great effect and the rockets in close proximity will always crush the hoverboard. And the forklift gets the frag. Yeah, I think if, if he uh, <laughs> was uh, using crouch, he could not be spotted. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he is also rocking the most colorful clutch there is in the game so he will be spotted from miles away <laughs> look at he looks like candy I mean, this is this is just over, so it doesn't really matter what how the uh, final result is going to be. But NSC, oh, there you go, back to back rails. I was gonna say, NSC is another victim to to Clips clutch this tournament, and if he gets this champion through, he's a force to be uh, to reckon with. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's... Uh, he can be stopped, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately not today by NSC. So, Club gets the first map on the board. You lose. Yeah. GG. First map on the board for the Russian. And the Dane. Maybe he just picked the Anarchy as a denial for Clip as well. Who knows? Who knows? So he can pick Sawleg on Molten Falls in peace, right? Maybe it was tactical after all. And yeah. now it's Clip's Death Knight against Ennis's Doomslayer. And the Doomslayer is, I think, one of the better picks for... Uh, <clears throat> for a matchup against the Death Knight, just because of the double jump will make it harder to hit the detonation, as well as the flames itself. Yeah, that's true. And... But yeah, we also, um, I think, was it against Pepco in in the challengers that we saw uh, Ranger uh, versus uh, yeah Pepco's Ranger versus uh, Club's Death Knight, and yeah he can set amazing traps uh, on the portal. And if you catch someone f going through the portal, uh, yeah, you have to, f and you have to face psych re ready. It's 175 damage in, in one go. So it will remove uh, everyone. Yeah, it's, it's basically a delete button for your opponent. So, well, it's, it's NSC's turn to bounce back. It's his map choice as well. And maybe he can manage to uh, avoid Clip's aggression better on this map. We will see. Anasi on the Doom Slayer has to make something work. So let's start onto him as Anasi spawns right next to the heavy. Slaps it onto his chest. Makes his way over to the rocket launcher and back to rail. So the distance game can begin. Yeah, and he wants to uh, be at the distance, right? Oh, we have the first trap. Flame strike not hitting, though. Yeah, the knockback did hit, so the, the balls hit, but not, not the flames. And look where Kalib is left stack-wise. Kalib is locked up in the map area where if he picks up the light, he's dead on arrival. But he gets the heavy, and now Anasi's great lighting Bye -bye. gun will shove him out of the map into the, into the swamp. Bye bye, Death Knight. Oh, look at that tracking, though, but it's not enough. This clip's tracking is formidable as well, it seems like. Yeah, but but I do think, yeah, he picked up the light before the fight, and Energy did not have any uh, armor left, so. Hmm. He gets the return frag, though, but yeah, I do think uh, NSC. Um. Yeah, but lose the fight by stack anyway. But now the Death Knight picks up the heavy and uses the flame strike for extra damage. Ties it up again. Oh, but we see Hennessy just pressing press forward. And it seems like that bit of lightning gun that he hit uh, missed against the clutch. He's ending up now sitting on 60%. But now I think he overstayed his welcome. Like shopping for for damage there when you not have a rail lightning gun against lightning gun with this little stack, it's like asking for a trade. Yeah, and, and now Clip gets another item, and now his stack is stabilizing. Rob. Yeah, uh, uh, this is a, a great frag for Clip to get, right? Because he gets both items after that last fight, and had his uh, barbecue strike ready. So, yeah, NSC, well, I wanted to say he needs to slow down, but uh, he's uh, getting back on the board, so. And greeted by uh, the Mega Health, so. Club could not bank on his control. Yeah, but 
Ennessy can bang on his lightning gun aim, hitting cell after cell. The clutch trailer in the end misses, but both players have resources to fall back to. Oh, and the flame strike. Well timed from Clip. Deletes Ennessy as he lands on the platform. Oh, can he pick up the armor? Yes, he can. And a beautiful direct rocket as well makes Ennessy's fighting chance almost non existent. But Ennessy pulls a magic trick out of the head and hits all the lightning gun ever made. But hmm, the mega health is still up. Uh, Energy wasn't aware of it, but the uh, Clipple <laughs> was in the same situation. So Energy gets it in the end and is now taking position for the heavy. And wow, he gets the opening damage. And continues his streak of lightning. Uses the double jump. Yeah, you, you predicted right. It's a great tool to evade. Um, the flame strike and that was oh. the proof of the potting and yeah now he uses the let's grab to get a great clean frag on club yeah also not just that, that it's a great tool but also the flame strike got used and clip does not get a frag for it which resulted in uh NSC being able to to chain one onto another and maybe he's getting a third frag here and another time where the flame strike is not even doing damage. Now Clip is really, yeah, losing his tools and and uh, throwing them out of the window, because without the flame strike, a huge portion of his damage is gone, and Anissi's damage resulting from his combat rather than his ability at the moment. <laughs> he can still hit for days, like 55% lightning gun, and he's not stopping. Good rail gun. The light armor picked up and another rail should finish the deal if he can land it. Oh, went for the direct. But no, the rail gun in the end does it. Oh, yeah, but it, it, it's such a great. You can also do it with nail gun, right? Just, just push your opponent into a direction so you can hit the shot. And it, yeah, it worked out perfectly. And yeah, Clip is just losing life after life. Just get the oh, greedy play oh. and the tox click. We didn't see it from tox, but we see it from Ennessy. <laughs> Five minute warning. Yeah, you will. Uh, wow, the bomb though. <laughs> I thought the clip would get a clean, heavy pickup, but not after getting hit like this. Oh, wait a minute. And the see who get back to in this one. Get set on fire. I hope that the bubble is there. Or else uh, we had the grilled doom for lunch. We still get incinerated doom for lunch as Clip bounces back. It's still a 7 frag game. Clip just uses the flame strike, combining it with his aggress aggressive playstyle to keep the frag count somewhat uh, high for him as well. But at some point, Ennessy managed to stabilize a little bit, and there you go, he just melts the Doom with his great lightning gun aim. You definitely see an aim master at work when you watch Ennessy. True, yeah, what is he hitting? Uh, casual 53. What <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Clip gets his LG glute. On him. He is awesome. oh, again! <laughs> no. It's the second time. Stop watch. Yeah, they all float, but especially them. Oh, clip bounced back, and it wasn't just the flame strike. It was his lightning gun as well. He did very well in this fight. The biggest difference between those two players right now is the damage on the railgun. I mean, obviously, NSC is using the lightning gun more and hitting more. But Clip only fired five rounds of it and hit only two. So he can't even get something of an opening damage. And there we see Cl Clip get again hit by NSC's rail without even having one himself. There you go. Someone's being melted. Yeah. That... Impressive. Denied. Oh. Left. And Clips throws in the towel. Yeah. He has enough of it. And he doesn't want to give Ennis's aim any more warm up. As if that's needed at this state of the game already. Yeah. And also losing the match by the opponent 
getting the 20 frag mark, it's, uh, yeah, you don't want that to happen, right? Mm. It's, uh... I mean, at this rate, I mean, if there wasn't the limit, I think at this rate, NSC could have put up even more on the board. He was looking insanely solid. True. Let me uh, throw an eye on the chat's prediction for this one. Majority, yeah, well, equally amounts of people betted, but the guys in NSC seem to have more bolts to spare. So they are betting on his insane aim. Yeah, and now we get multiple falls with the Sorlak in the hands of Annecy and Skilbar in the hands of outside the group. Yeah, the man from Tauseti Esports definitely has a champion that, that suits his aggressive playstyle uh, in the form of Scalebear. There, though, even Sorlak can play uh, can be played very aggressive as well, but. I think in a head-to-head -head close quarter combat, I think the burst potential that the scale bearer has with a bull rush and a shotgun or rocket is just a bit more. So I think NSC rather wants to use his uh, mobility in uh, for positional sakes rather than in uh, to use it to get into his opponent's face. Prepare to fight. Yeah, we will be doing talks Round after this one. In three, two, one, fight. <laughs> so, uses the bull rush immediately, and this is what I meant. Getting up close and personal. Hundred damage from the bull rush. NSC strips his uh, life away from himself there, but yeah, the ball rush, the damage is just so much. And even just with a starting shotgun, there's not much you can do. No, well, NSC just hitting a great reel though. So this opens up the heavy for him, but oh, he's still chasing, but he might chase Gloop into the heavy. Yeah, but oh, still not much health left. So even with the armor, he was uh, dead by uh, yeah, a one shot, basically. So, I know, uh, yeah, there is a decent split on the items. Clip has just a great stance on the heavy. He does. Oh, <laughs> oh and as he isn't hitting his uh, punishment damage. And well, well, we have the sandal man going in six gear, and uh, yeah, chases up the, the yeah his first track. Yeah, I mean, Sordak was quick enough to avoid the bull rush, but on the other hand, the stack of energy just wasn't there to. Uh, survive long enough to meld clip even though he did, came close to it now energy stack is all he ever needed spit misses but he still gets the frag and energy is on the board for the second time oh, good rail using the angle and and yeah, kind of evening out the stacks a bit more but Ennessy wants to make sure that he knows where his opponent is coming from for this fight. Oh, and he comes from the right direction that Ennessy raided, but... Oh no, he missed the lightning and I couldn't lift him above the gap, so he lost out on the item. But despite using the bull rush, Clip still died there. So it's still a win for Ennessy, if you ask me. Oh, rocket! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she drops down again, and a full on hondo from Clip <laughs> destroys him. Oh. He thought he was doing the trapping, but he was the trapee. Indeed. Trapper <laughs> Trappering the right Roshi. <laughs> okay, back to casting this game actually because it's uh, 
the deciding map. Ennessy, all the stack in the world. Trying to find out where his opponent is going to strike from, but Clip is not going to strike at all. He just wants to hear the timing. He does that good position for this, and now he falls back to the Mega. Ennessy now has an idea, and the spit this time hits, but Clip's rockets are destroying him. <clears throat> and yeah, the rail off the boot. Solek is big enough to be easily hit. And it's a one frag lead again for the Russian. Yeah, uh, being the one who's uh, not uh, had, had the heavy uh, for quite some while uh, now, but now he's there to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, he was already winning the fights without the heavy, <laughs> even with the heavy. He has the same situation for himself. Oh, missed rail. And Ennessy smells blood, but smelling the blood also means no mega for you. Bullrush is being used, and Ennessy shows how well he can dodge it. Oh, and it's still a trade. The Bullrush. In the end, still hit. Ennessy decided to dodge on the, on the spot instead of keeping the distance. I mean, it's hard to, to uh, keep distance. But yeah, Clip still made it work. Combining the Boros with two great rockets. Ennessy just didn't have the weapon at this fight, but now they will meet again. Oh, don't fall down! He will out lightning on you, even if you're Ennessy! Oh no, two missed rails. What is this? <laughs> but Clip fumbles his movement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the door is there. Bob. <laughs> uh, he gave Ennessy like a fourth chance hitting that. <laughs> And at some point, Ennessy is not really uh, going to miss anymore. Uh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. in Ennessy's defense, he made uh, the angle for himself pretty hard to hit because he wanted to show as little as possible of himself because he was railable or even MGable himself in this situation. Yeah. So Ennessy still needs one on the board to tie it up. Um, but yeah, even uh, if he was in control uh, a few uh, rotations uh, ago, Clip uh, still walked away with the frag. So let's see if he's able to. Oh, oh he just waits. Or the full on hun hundo, yeah, it's a hundo, right? Full speed is, yeah. is hundred. If, if it's if it's uh, over a certain speed, it's it's a hundred. The the thing is that it's not the first time even that NSC does this. He's just there. Okay, I'm gonna LG you until you die, no matter what happens. And you're not gonna win against someone who gets only a third of the damage and then hits two direct rockets in your face because he's literally standing inside of you. No. Now Ennis, he should be getting a kill and nice. it's a clean one. This is what was he, what he needed. But the bull rush is still ready again. Ennis decides to yeah. vacate the item for now and get the light first. Good choice. But but yeah, you can't stop a bull rush, right? With LG or anything. No. So just invest uh, some stack in a stop rocket jump watch. so you at least can evade it. Or go up a bounce pad. Bounce pads cancel bull rushes as well. Yeah, true. And then continue the fight. Not not wait for it to hit, right? This was a good one to take because he did so much damage before the fight even started that even the damage reduction from the bull rush wouldn't mean much. And now it's a tied up game. Ennessy, this time he used the bull rush kind of against uh, Clip. Pick up the item. No, he can't. Clip's rockets are too punishing. And it's again a lead for the Russian. It will be a two-frag lead. Can he make it out in time? Yes, just in time. Five HP will. Whoa, NSC. You are throwing this one. NSC shot eight rockets in total. Yeah, we all know how hard it is against the skill bar, right? But, uh, I think he, he doesn't have the experience. There, there really was a chance. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, 
getting out of his uh, grasp of uh, getting back in this one. Yeah, fortunately for, for Clip, when he went up that bounce pad, Ennis was all out of lightning gun ammunition. Otherwise, he would have been dead for sure. Clip springs another trap. Yeah, and this is how you play scale. Wait for your opponent to overstep. Almost. He, this is how you can use uh, Scale Baron's movement to great effect. He turned around at the spot and the Scale Baron's movement just turned him around immediately, mitigating all the push that uh, NSC was giving to him with his great lightning gun there. One minute, one. one minute, three frags. It's doable, but it's a strict time plan. Yeah, you have to go through all the hoops and win a clean fight. Oh, Ole! Nice. This is how you do it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, go for the mega health or not. Uh, that's a decision he needs to make. He leaves it up. Uh, but oh, yes. Yes, this is possible. Rail out or LG. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's such a chase, but he gets it. Okay. And he should be able to be fast enough at the Mega as well. He is. But Clip, where is he spawning? Clip is on the other side of the map and he won't catch him. All the work done. And then what is still not enough. Clip, in the end, makes it to the grand final. And NSC is blaming the champion, but the champion can only... Well... If you do the same thing over and over again and expect a different outcome, I don't think it's the champion, right? No, true, but but it 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 probably feels uh, this way um, when you play against a skill bar. But I, yeah, I do think uh, he he watches this back and and sees the opportunities that he didn't take, and uh, next time around he will do better against skill. But yeah, great, great show uh, from Clip, and he's through to uh, the playoffs and can play against Tox, which <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, to see. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, check up how uh, far the other game.